This is the Black Woman Reader, and I will be reading verses from the fifth chapter of Second Nephi. In the previous chapter, Nephi had prayed to God. In this chapter, God tells Nephi, or God answers the prayer, but God tells Nephi what to do. God tells Nephi to go into the wilderness to depart and go into the wilderness. Wherefore it came to pass that I, Nephi, did take my family and also Zerum and his family and Sam, my elder brother, and his family and Jacob and Joseph and my younger brethren and also my sisters and all those who believed in the warnings and the revelations of God. Wherefore they did hearken unto my words. And after we had journeyed for the space of many uh, days, we pitched our tents. And the people decided to call this place uh, Nephi. And they, furthermore, they decided to call themselves the people of Nephi. And we did observe to keep the judgments and the statutes and the commandments of the Lord in all things according to the law of Moses. And the Lord was with us, and we did prosper exceedingly, and we did so, we did reap again in abundance, and we began to raise flock and herbs and all kind of animals. And it came to pass that we began to prosper exceedingly, and to multiply in the land. But our brethren called the Lamanites hated us. <laughs> hated us. Nonetheless, nonetheless. And it came to pass that they would that I should be their king. But I, Nephi, was desirous that they should have no king. Nevertheless, I did for them according to that which was in my power. And I realized that the words of the Lord had been uh, fulfilled, which he spoke concerning my brethren, that I should be their ruler and their teacher. And also the words of the Lord was fulfilled, which he spoke unto me, saying, That inasmuch as they will not hearken unto thy words, they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And behold, they were cut off from the presence of the Lord. And he caused a cursing upon them because of, the, because of their iniquity. Wherefore, as they were white and exceedingly fair, the Lord did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them. And thus says the Lord, I will cause that they shall be loathsome unto thy people, say they shall repent of their iniquities. And cursed shall be the seed of him that mixes their seed with them, for they shall be cursed even with the same cursing, and the Lord spake it, and it was done. And because of the cursing which was on them, they did become an idle people full of mischief and subtlety, and did seek in the wilderness for beasts of prey. These are the Lamanites. They shall be like a plague unto thy seed, to stir them up in remembrance of me, and inasmuch as they will not remember me and hearken unto my words, they shall scourge them even unto destruction. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, did consecrate Jacob and Joseph, that they should become priests and teachers over the land of my people. And it came to pass that we lived after a manner of happiness. And thirty years had passed from the time we left Jerusalem. 
and suffice me to say that 40 years had passed away and we had already had wars and contentions with our brethren, the Lamanites, who are now a dark-skinned people. Until next time, this is the Black Woman Leader.